what's up you guys it is mary and Amma. and we invite you guys to like share subscribe and comment down below um but today we are going to get right into it um yes. we apologize for being so late yes the devil is trying us but yes. we will be triumphant yes and we are going to get we are getting back to business yes so, okay um but we're going to do basketball wise today yes. and i really want to talk about and this is a new show for us right well because we've done a couple of episodes already i know tamika brian asked us yeah basketball yes. wise okay that's she right. did ask us okay. to do it we have not done it in about two weeks but we are back okay <laughs> but how do we know that we are done okay anyway <laughs> but yes we did for tanika brian I'm getting older yeah but Alrighty. we are going to get right to it um and i really want to talk about the sham that is rockstar like i remember oh, this the degenerate yeah. right on um love and hip-hop okay and i just he thought was he there. was fake i just always got the feeling like he was very fake love and hip -hop, but um, okay but Who yes. was he with in Love and Hip Hop? Was he with somebody? I don't even remember him because okay. I just was so annoyed by his presence. Oh, really? Okay. He's a rapper. Is he? Or I I think so. I don't know. What okay. Um, but anyway, let us know what he do. That is Angel Brinks' man. Angel has been through some stuff. Yeah. You know, from the time we met her, she had the one child. She had the one child with a father who was in jail, right? Oh, he was in jail. I do believe the son's father was in jail. I, I, I thought that. so. Well, well, he you guys was let missing. us know. He was not around. I thought he was in jail. Yes, and, but in the short time that she has been on basketball, I was surprised she that she's like, this is the third child. I was the third baby father. Yeah, and she does I was like, not. Who was she with prior? Yeah, um, but Obviously the thing that didn't is, work out. she, you know, I'm just shocked. Yeah. Just because she's such a good businesswoman, I know. but it just seems like she's all over the place With, looking for love or she whatever. She is looking for love because even the I remember the last, not the last episode, but when I watched Basketball Wives in the past, I remember her crying to her mom. I vividly remember her crying to her mom. I think she had a fiance saying that you know I just I'm getting older and I don't want to be forty and I don't have nobody or whatever. She was crying about that. Yeah, it was some race to her. And when you're feeling like that as a woman, you always you're making get, some bad decisions. You don't want to be desperate trying to find love because you will always find the the barrel of the bottom men. Yeah. And that's who she has. She is that's actually 39, like. which I was shocked yeah. to learn. And also, this blonde hair is not a good look for you, boo. Platinum mm. blonde, not a good look at all. Um, yeah, I liked her with her black hair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so she's with this guy mm -hmm. named Rockstar, which he is just, he seems so fake. She does not seem like he she seems is very in, fake. There's no me. love there. I don't Doesn't see any seem, love. I no. see that she, I feel like there's like a, like when you look in her eyes, there's just a certain type of fear, uncertainty, and just like she's trying to make it seem like it's this great relationship, but she no. doesn't feel secure with this man. Yeah. And she knows he's nothing to write about. I don't feel like about. she likes him. I don't like loves him like that. And yeah. I don't think that he loves her like that. I think they're both trying to make something try out of so hard to pretend to the world that ooh, our relationship it's it's up there, you know. And he, <sighs> of course, thoroughly embarrassed her. Yes. Um, her mom does not know. She did not let her mom know until I think she pregnant. looks like she's about four months pregnant, right? No, she looks like she is like eight months pregnant. Really. Yeah, four months you will barely see the belly. Eight. I think that's so. Yeah, the thing yeah. is, the fact that you did not tell your mom, yeah. and you're eight months pregnant, just that's lets me know that you know that you're. Months. Yeah, that just lets me know that you know that you're not in a good relationship, mm -hmm. and that you don't really trust this man, mm -hmm. and you know it's, it's on rocky ground. Yeah. So she didn't even let her mom know, but she had this whole baby shower. Um, baby, and what what do they call it now? Gender reveal. Gender reveal. Um, they have this huge shindig, which if I am pregnant yeah. with my third child with a man that I know ain't about shit, I am daddy. going to have a little cookout in the backyard with a gender reveal. <laughs> like, I am well, not I doing certainly no will not invite women who talk about me behind my back. I'm, I'm in the mood for some out of wedlock baby shower food. Can't wait to get some today. Nina. Who the hell are you? Um, Nina. Yes. Um, so I thought that was very odd. Yeah. Um, and then he had the nerve her. to embarrass me. That's why you don't do big shindigs when you know this man ain't about nothing. So everybody's thinking, oh, you know, I got you something, babe. You know what they say. 
It first comes a promise ring, then a wedding ring. Never heard that statement before in my life. Um, so this fool. <laughs> no, we did. Uh, Mama's boy. When Emily threw the promise ring at his face. Shaquib. <laughs> this is what happens when women lower their standards to the bottom of the barrel. You now have grown ass men. That was the men. first time I heard about promise ring. And now that thing has taken off. Now this is the new thing the men are doing, man. They're doing... They said, ooh, I don't even have to do an engagement ring. You mean I could do a promise ring before the engagement ring? First of all, Angel did not want no promise ring no. when she is about to be 40. This lady is 39 years old. That is so wrong. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, so first wrong. comes promise ring, then wedding ring or whatever. And then she puts her hand out like it's going to Both be a hands. wedding ring. Yes. No, first she put out her hand first. Okay. She was like, oh, what ring we doing it at? As he says it into the microphone. Yes. And, he, and then she's like, well, I don't know. He gonna do and the then he said, finger. "Well, we we gonna do the middle finger because I don't think we ready finger. for the ring finger yet." Oh so everybody's God. like, "What the fuck?" And so everybody's like confused. And then he puts it on her finger, and the angel looks so embarrassed, like she yeah. was looking like. <laughs> and she was, yeah, yeah. I thought that was an embarrassment. If you're gonna give me a promise ring, you better roll your ass over in the middle of the night and give it to me. But don't you dare embarrass me, because I will embarrass oh, you right back. <laughs> like what? just thought that was crazy how you let that man embarrass you that loser mm. i just thought it was a shame and on top of that it's like mm. he really wasn't saying nothing much when he yeah. met the mother yeah you know and i know the mom knows that it's not a good situation because yeah. she would have told her mom yeah about the guy if yeah. it was something that was perfect in her eyes exactly so I felt bad about that. And then yeah. the father really didn't seem like he was about much either. He's you father. Know, he seemed like he was trying to comfort the mom a little bit. I but know. You can kind of like. Uh, but he right. knows. What, what, what's the daddy going to say? Well, I mean, the dad knows that his son ain't about shit. Yeah. He knows that. But um, he, she really motivates him. I'm sorry. If I have to motivate a grown he, man to do he, anything. He's really next, motivated by your family. But he hasn't really. He doesn't really know the mother. So I thought, how does he know? How is he motivated by the family dynamic? That he doesn't know. It was very <sighs> odd. And, and I just know. felt so embarrassed for, all for of Angel. Them. Yeah. Especially for the mama. Yeah. <laughs> and so she goes to the group, and of course, they're all And they're like, oh my her. God, girl. And then she's like, I thought oh, he was going to propose. This is what he does. He gives me many rings. He's giving me many rings. Good girl. That's all you have. A bunch, a bunch of rings. That don't mean nothing. Well, the thing is, they all were like, girl, I thought he was going to propose. She's like, yeah, me too. <laughs> but, you know, like, he gives me rings all the time. Like, he just is such a gift giver. They're like, oh, yeah. And then tried to convince herself in the confessional. You know, I mean, he told everyone. How he much he everyone, loves how much me. He how much he wants to spend the rest of his life with me. This he never the, said that. This is the best, best day of my life. And the thing really? is, Jason Derulo said the same thing. Ow. So okay. Jordan Sparks said, um, will you marry me? Take time. You know, we don't have to rush. Um, and where is he today? He has gotten another woman pregnant, was with her for almost five years, hasn't married her. But Jordan Sparks had some sense and left him and got with a man who loved her. And, and yeah, now has husband. two kids yes. and has a husband. A husband, yeah. So you can't believe a man on his words. You have to look at the actions, Action. not the words. Exactly. The words have to be exactly pushed exactly. somewhere. But yeah, I just thought uh, it was very much so embarrassing. It was. Um, it was. And then, how? What did you think about Jackie trying to get British to be with Lonzo? You know, I feel like well, Lorenzo. I feel like British still likes him. In fact, she did say that she still loves like him. Like she is smiling. But when right she's talking now, about him. she's trying to do the single thing. But she, she said that she loves him. She said right now. She said right now I'm not trying to be in a relationship. If I don't want to be with a man, I would say I never want to be in a relationship with him. He's not for me. But it's like she was smiling. She was like, you know, he's such a it. Like he's so mean to me. He's so disrespectful. But it's like she has some awkward but I love smile. Him. I love him, but you I don't know, want I love him. him. Like I don't know what. I just thought it was odd. And my thing is, Jackie, you're not a relationship guru. Like, I do love the fact that you have your anniversaries every year. Beautiful. I love the fact that you I, make yeah. sure you go and give Doug his sex, which I think is phenomenal. Yeah. You should do that. Um, But you guys are together not because of you, but because Doug has just decided in his own little mind, yeah. this is the woman I want to be with. No matter what. And like you said, I am there are make men. Sure that she happy. Yes, there are Regardless. men. Regardless. Yeah. 
Because well, where, am I, where am I going to find another Jackie? Who going to want to give me sex at this for me? age? Who wants to be there for me? Who making all this effort? Who's like, crazy about me from literally? Where am I going to find so another please. woman at? So, so, so just like, really? I love her. I'm going to make sure her life is okay. I don't care how crazy she becomes. I don't care what she do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold her down like she holds me down. Yeah. And he has made that choice. So they will be together forever. Yeah. You see, the man has to be the one that takes the leadership in that. A yeah. woman cannot, you cannot force a man to stay with you, to hold you down. If he has determined he's going to be cheating like crazy, mm -hmm. that's exactly what he's going to do. Yeah. But when the man takes the leadership in that, like a Russell or a Doug, and says, you know something? This is, this is it. This is it This right is my here. person. This is who I love. This is it. This is the person. I'm not moving. Then that's what it is. They're not out there cheating. They're not out there doing any of that stuff. This is their woman. This is how they see it. Yes. So and that's what they do. Yeah. You know, like LL, LL Cool J. He also with his wife. Yeah. They've been together. Ice Cube. You know what I'm saying? They've held their women down. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing right here. This is my person. Yeah. You know, LeBron. This Savannah. is my person. Yes, ma'am. You know, when the man takes the leadership in that makes that commitment there's no moving him he takes the leadership these are men they know the value of having a wife and this is what they do yeah they're leaving a legacy they understand yeah. they comprehend that yeah so so uh, jackie i do feel like you should not get involved in these relationships <laughs> Focus Jackie on your is, relationship. Focus on, you know, nurturing and loving on your man. Focus she on that. She was determined, though, to be that relationship guru. She said it many times. I know, but Jackie... I am a relationship guru. <laughs> you can't be a relationship guru if you're an alcoholic. So I would just strongly suggest you focus on yourself. She does like her liquor. She has had too many... Cra I, remember, I saw that episode where she tried to kill Angel Love... I saw that other episode where she yeah, fought yeah. Brooke Bailey. I went back last yesterday and watched all those fights with um Jackie. Um, and you know it is because of Doug that they're still together. Because if it was me, I am <laughs> out that I am out that place. I am out of there. And it gets it's ridiculous the way Jackie be acting. I need my husband. I need my husband. <laughs> Don't scare that cat. And Jackie yeah, has been through some stuff, but Doug has decided it's my person. I don't care what person. she do. I'm not even gonna watch the damn TV show. I, know, I don't want to know. My person, yeah, yeah. So huh. anyway, I feel like British. You still like? I don't think you are completely over that relationship. You mm -hmm. still get a little kick out of yeah, him still calling you and, and stuff that. like that. Yeah, but I just felt like him kind of insinuating that. You were a hoe I know. because you doing stuff with your vagina. You're sleeping with whoever you want to sleep uh, with, and they're saying that I raised you, being very disrespectful. I know. That was like old. the man I don't is know the what epitome. That means. epitome. I raised you. Is this your child? Uh, well, I guess maybe what is he trying to say? I upgraded you. Can't the man is a degenerate and illiterate, so he doesn't yeah. even know what he's talking about. Yeah. So I just felt like it was very odd. And you yeah. actually need to heal that. And if you don't want contact with you, girl, there are ways. You can get um, a no contact order. You don't have exactly. to put a restraining order on him, but you can get a no contact order. Exactly. And you can have somebody meet him um, with the kid. Yeah, like, like Kenya Moore does. She has her au pair yeah. take the child to her... The, the guy daily. <gasps> we have to talk about Bassy. We have to talk about the Real House of Atlanta. We will. Yes. So that's what happened with them. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about Brandy boy. in Malaysia. Oh boy. Uh, Brandy is like the ex husband that just won't leave you the f alone. And the thing is, yeah. it's like obsessive behavior. Yeah. Malaysia's not even looking She's at not you. Checking for you. Brandy. Like, and then you keep on harassing her. Like the I whole know. thing with Zell, you were contacting him in the DM. So why the hell you said anything in your little cheater role? I know. Blue mama. <laughs> you know? It's so but I just feel like she was picking a fight with her. Yeah. Like for real, for real. Was, I just yeah. thought it was odd. Yeah. You know, and then of course she made it a point not to go talk to her or whatever, which I thought was the best thing you could have ever yeah. done. And then her cousin tried to get all involved until Malaysia explained the whole thing to her. Yeah. You know. But yeah. yeah, Brandy, Malaysia is really not checking for you. Bye. And you have to move on. Like, the relationship is over. Yeah. She doesn't want to be friends with you anymore. 
Yeah. Obviously. Because the way you're so acting, you guys moving. just move on. Because even like, when they sat by down, forced to be friends with someone you don't want to be friends with anymore. Apparently, like, it is. what is it? Even so when ridiculous. they sat down that one time when they were at that um rooftop or whatever stuff like that, it's like you wanted to talk to her, but there was no objective. So you just started being very aggressive and not really resolving anything. Like, yeah. do you want us to be friends again, or do you just want to be catty? Like, what was the point yeah. of calling Brandy me over is here? Always so confrontational. I be feel so like hard to be a friend of hers because uh, I cannot deal with that confrontational energy every two seconds. It's some drama. I feel the reason why Brandy is the way she is, she is still with that man who cheated on her a hundred different times. Yes, yes, yes. You know, like her sense of being in good relationships doesn't really make sense. She doesn't have anybody really to take stuff out on, so she wants to take it out on Malaysia. And Malaysia is just not in that place in her life where she wants to stay crap from anybody. She's already doing, getting... She probably wants someone to talk to about what she's going on with him and she and, does miss malaysia i'm and she sure this is malaysia but then you have to be vulnerable and yeah. honest to get relationships like that back but you don't want to do that then the thing is she can't be vulnerable because she, she is can't. with a man who has been that has made her feel so unsafe yes. and not protected so she yes. hasn't been in a place where she can actually be vulnerable because she can't be a vulnerable because with her husband because anytime she was vulnerable with him he probably used, used that. it against her yeah and so now she she equates vulnerability with for weakness, weakness. So, and then the thing is, you know, you're not going to win that relationship back like that. So, I just feel like the whole thing is just very sad. Not if you don't, not if you're not real. Yeah. With her. And you have to not be so combative. I I thought they had a good relationship. I love their friendship. I I thought it was very cute. But Um, but the thing is, Brandy, you have to be able to bring your walls down. But I do feel like her still, I feel like there is the self-love and the value for herself is not there so yeah. when you don't have that you can't really be a good friend to anybody yeah. like the fact you're still with him blows my mind like i am shocked they're still together like i, I am baffled because i saw the episode of on ayanla of them together you said he cheated a hundred, a hundred different times it was a hundred plus married to her yes wow. within the marriage and it also happened during her cancer <sighs> thing so that's right she had cancer yeah so when you stay with a man like that you're not really a friend to yourself so it's really hard for you to even be a friend to anybody else yeah um and she's going through some stuff so yeah it's unfortunate but brandy you have to do some self-evaluation yeah and you really should leave that man like your kids are older now there's no reason really to stay with him stay with him yeah you know but Uh. yeah um, but who else was there? Is who Jennifer on this season? I think she is, but I don't think anything happened with her. What other? What else happened in the episode? Really see Jennifer this season. Yeah, I don't think I saw her. Shawnee went to get married. Did she? We Did saw we that, on, that. Oh, we. Well, we that saw was that on YouTube, Instagram. Instagram. But yeah, I she got married. Congratulations, Shawnee! It's I wonderful know. to find. I'm so happy for you. Love at that age because yeah. you know yourself. You know what you want. You both are grown. So wish you the best. We wish you well. Wish you well. well. Yes. Um. But I think that was everything. Yeah, I think we could so. be wrong. If not, we'll catch you the next time. Yes. But it is Mary and Emma. Thank you guys for watching. We invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below.